adding drawn geode lines. I always think that adding these geode banding lines is a bit magical. They really change the feel of a piece and they're also very relaxing to do. I usually choose pens which either tone or contrast with the colours of the geode and I often use multiple different thicknesses of pen. Acrylic markers are ideal for this. If you use a water-based pen, such as this really fine black lining pen I'm using here, then you will need to spray the dried ink with a clear lacquer before putting any more resin over the top, as the ink will dissolve in the wet resin and smudge otherwise. Ask me how I know. When adding geode lines, I like to follow the contours of the colours in the resin and the edges of the, of the stones. I quite often will outline the stones using a gilding paint as you can see me doing here. When that is dry, there is the possibility of adding geode lines over the top of the gilding paint, which you can see me doing with this green aventurine mini. I think that these little mini geodes look really good with very fine detailed lines and using multiple lines one outside the other like this creates an intricacy to the pieces that adds lots of interest. small artworks are designed to be seen up close. If you are making a bigger artwork designed to be viewed from much further away, you might very well go for much fatter geode lines. Wide white lines are particularly effective as they contrast beautifully with any strong colour without adding any colour of their own. And combining white with another colour can be an effective combination. Whether your lines cross each other or not will depend on what you like as well as how authentic you wish to be. In real geodes the lines rarely cross as they are formed by different layers crystallising slowly as the geode cools, but there is no need to stick to this rule if you don't want to. Here on this mint green geode, you can see I've deliberately crossed my geode lines to give a sort of lacing effect which I think is quite effective. Multiple colours of lines are also effective and I like to make at least one of the lines in a metallic colour. Silver, copper or gold, but you can also choose metallic blue, pink or green if you can find the pens. Take a look at these examples of geode lines in different thicknesses and colours and then try out some of your own, perhaps on scrap pieces of re resin to see what works for you and your colour choices. Mm -hmm.